What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Chess Giant. This is Solomon Riddell. In today's video, I'm going to be trying to survive with the Bond Cloud opening, one of the worst openings out there. We're playing e4 and now king e2. I mean, guys, this is just a terrible option for a number of reasons. I mean, now the activity of our queen and our bishop are just really just non existent. On top of that, our king is on e2. And finally, our king cannot castle for the rest of the game. So let's say you do face this position for some reason. Let's say you're trying to play like Nakamura or you're trying to mess around with a friend and you do face this position of king e2. What do you do now? Guys, the answer is to not play crazy. I myself got to remind myself of this. I mean, even right now, I'm wanting to play moves like d4, but I literally have a king on e2. I just got to play calm. I got to play cool and I got to play collected. So let's play this move of c3. Every single move we make here, guys, the next five or six move has to be all about limiting the activity of our opponent's pieces. We're now defending this pawn on e4, knight d2 on the way, a key idea here. Notice again, we are trying to form a wall to really protect our king on e2, which is really there for no good reason. Uh, knight c6 is played, let's play h3 to prevent any knight g4 or bishop g4 ideas going forward. We can now take back with the d-pawn. Okay, we just have a king hovering out there. But notice, also, if we play this right, if we play a move here like c3, key idea, it's going to be hard for black to really go after this king uh, very easily, right? So here we got b6, key idea, bishop a6 with check, trying to attack that king. I think in that case, let's just play a move like knight f3. I'm actually okay if they want to play bishop a6. I mean, I'll just bring my king back, and all of a sudden we're trading down. Uh, we're looking to trade back with the knight um, and trade, you know, on d1. I'm okay with that. I mean, at this point, guys, I'm not trying to get a winning position out of the opening. I'm just trying to survive. I'm just trying to get a dead even evaluation. And then from there, um, you know, get a get a fightable chance. So, okay. Uh, Queen C7 is played. Nicely played from black there. Black here not trying to do, you know, black here not trying to, uh, you know, uh, trade down, but really trying to go for the win. So we see Queen C7. I'm going to kind of reflect that by playing Queen C2, defending the pawn on E4. I'd really like to get my king over to g2. So, okay, we see a move like e6. Let's just bring our knight over to d2 now. Let's play g3. h5 is played. We'll play king f1. And, uh, okay, we finally are maybe finding a home for our king on g2. And now, okay, I mean, it looks as if we're playing a somewhat normal game, but we're just down in development. b3 is played. Uh, bishop b2 now. Knight e5, okay. Uh, in that case, let's just take that thing right off the board. Continue with knight f3, attacking the bishop. And, ooh, I want to play c4, but obviously bishop takes b2, and my queen would lose uh, protection of the pawn e4. So let's play a move here like rook d1. Offering of a trade knight c6 is seen on the board. In that case, we'll play a3, forming a uh, really just a wall there for black to try to fight through. We'll take on e5, and now we'll start to play more aggressive with a move like f4. Um, okay, let's play queen e2, kind of sliding our queen over one square. f5 is played. In that case, we will play king f3. I mean, we've already moved our king enough. Why not just keep going here? So now we got man ouch thinking here is black on how to break through here. e5. Wow, aggressive chess. We're now going to take rook f8 is seen and we i think here we'll probably just bring our king back to g2 pawn captures a scene and okay let's i mean c4 looks interesting probably just play rook f1 though i mean if we go down a pawn it's not the end of the world here i'm just trying not to get mated right so rook f1 uh, we're obviously ready to capture back. We got queen c4 ideas in the air, c4 ideas. King h2 is a nice little outpost of p potentially, um, depending on what black does. e3 is played. Okay. Um, I want to play rook f3, but of course that rook's just going to be pinned forever. So let's just slide that king over one square. Yeah, I mean, why not? At that point, let's just take off this pawn. So now we're seeing an even material. We're attacking the bishop. C4 still can't be played because we lose our bishop on B2. Um, okay, I mean, their black is trying to play Q with queen C7, so let's play queen G5 ourselves, attack G6. King G7 is played, we'll play bishop C1. I like queen H6 check ideas, potentially. 
Um, you know, because if we do get this move in, this king is not going to be able to hold on to that pawn on g6, which is definitely going to be an advantage for us. Um, okay, rook goes over. Interesting. In that case, um, my intuition is telling me to do something very crazy with rook d7, but I'm just going to play bishop f4. I think it's more sound. Take back with the rook now. Queen f6 ideas. Obviously, black does not want to allow that, so we see there. But we'll play, uh, you know, rook f1 ourselves. Form a battery ram. We'll play there. We'll take off that g-pawn. And okay, now we're off to the races. Check. Check again. Uh, check yet again. Check. We'll just keep checking like there's no tomorrow. Check uh, h4. So we got really most of our bases covered here, which is definitely nice. And our opponent resigns. Um, okay, so we got one win in the books with the bond cloud. Let's keep it rolling, or at least try to with e4. E5, King E2. Gosh, just terrible move, guys. I mean, who made this up? I don't, man. Anyways, we see knight C6, guys. Again, key idea. We don't want to allow knight D4 check, right? We just don't want to allow it. We don't want to allow our opponent to have more activity. So let's just limit the activity of this knight right away. Really try to neutralize that minor piece. And then here we see bishop C5. Okay, let's play D3. Defend the pawn on E4 in case we ever see a D5 or F5 break. D6 is played. Um, in that case, let's play h3. We got to defend g4 from both the knight and the bishop on c8. Notice how, okay, you play king e2, you throw a few pawn moves in there, and all of a sudden it's kind of playable in a weird way. Um, I'm not going to say it's good, but I'm going to say that it's not as bad as it may seem. Um, if you do play it right, you do have a fighting chance if you play perfectly for 20 moves. Um, knight e7 is played. In that case, we'll play a4. We'll start to expand on the queen side a little bit. We'll play b4. I'm sorry, my, my aggressive side's coming out of me here. I, I, I can't just sit around. So, okay, I mean, that's fine, though. I mean, let's, you know, we're building a wall up on the queen side of the board now. I think now we'll continue with our key idea of knight d2. Knight f3. f5 is played. Um, see, we could play knight c4. I think I'm actually going to do that. Knight c4, attacking the bishop. That's a key attacking piece. So if we can get rid of that, that'd be very nice. Obviously, black is not wanting to lose that. So we see bishop a7, but in that case, let's play our uh, b5 move here, trying to kick this knight around. Knight b8 at some point is going to be forced. I mean, I'm just not, I'm just not seeing any way around that. Uh, so we do see that move of knight b8. In that case, we can now continue with bishop e3, trying to trade down that bishop, which is attacking the pawn of two. By the way, guys, the f pawns are the weakest pawns in chess because only the kings defend them. So now, um, by getting that bishop out of the board, we uh, we just did ourselves a big favor. We take him b5. If you want to trade down, I'm cool with that. We'll look to pre-move on e4 as well. And, uh, okay, I'm thinking now maybe king e1, bishop c4, um, and get that king over to g2. Of course, e4 is definitely a potential weakness there. So, I mean, let's just think about things here. We could, yeah, let's just play king e1. Bring the king back. Okay, so here black playing aggressively with knight c5. In that case, we will just hold on for dear life with queen b1, holding on to that pawn in e4. We will play with check. And we will offer a trade on the knight on e7. Knight g6 is now seen. Uh, in which case, let's play something like h4 now. c6 is seen. Okay, uh, let's... Bada bing, and then bada boom, bring this knight back to e3. Knight f4 is played. We can play g3, trying to figure out, you know, okay, knight, you, you went in here, where are you going to go next? Um, knight e6 is seen. Okay, knight f5. Looks active. I'm, I'm, I'm less doing this to be active. I'm more just worried about my knight on f3. Of course, g6 is now an option, which isn't the funnest for us to have to deal with. Um, so g6 is played now. Now I'm trying to see if I'm just losing this. Uh, hmm. I mean, yeah, let's just play king f1 really quickly. We'll pre move there. Ask this knight where it's going. We'll play f6 with check now against the king. King goes back. We'll play knight g5, threatening a mate in one on h7 
And uh, okay, looks like we're going to get it. The whole, the whole idea I had there is if, if the pawn takes, then we would obviously take back with check. Um, but uh, obviously my opponent didn't see that queen h7 idea. So okay, let's keep it rolling, guys. Bong, bong cloud chess, I'm telling you guys. It's, uh, it's, it's really terrible, but in a weird way, it's kind of fun. Um, especially if you're just messing around with friends. I think it's also a surprisingly decent opening if you're trying to work on your defensive chess. I mean, that might sound really silly, but it's like, okay, you're trying to become a def better defensive player. You know, you're in tournaments, you're just, you're having a hard time when being attacked. Guys, if you can hold on in the bond cloud, you're going to be okay more times than not, right? So, okay, we see this move C4. We're going to continue with E5 expanding in the center. Um, knight C3. Okay, we could play King E7, but obviously Knight D5 check could be played. So let's play C6 first. Let's play d6 now. I'm kind of playing like a pre bond cloud, right? Trying to get these moves in first. Knight d7 now, defending the pawn e5. Bishop g5. Okay, my opponent really is not wanting me to play the bond cloud, apparently. Um, but okay, let's play bishop e7, offering up a trade. And boom, we are now in the bond cloud. King takes e7. Um, yeah, here we go. I actually kind of, I actually, actually prefer this over the other, uh, other lines because, okay, our bishop isn't on f8, but we traded it for the bishop that was on c1, and that's going to give us our king a very nice, easy path over to the king side. So I think here we can just play a move like rook e8. Uh, king might, that might be a little bit premature. I got to make sure d6 is covered first. Um, and then at this point, okay, I mean, we got ideas like b6, a6, bishop e7, swing over a rook to d8, right? We're going to be okay. Um, if we play it right, obviously. Um, and even now, I mean, a move like h6 never hurt, right? I mean, why not just neutralize this knight a little bit more? Now queen g5 ideas are in the air, so we, now we really got to look at ideas like h6. Um, in fact, we're just going to do that, okay? We're going to play h6. Uh, now we're going to play a move like b6. Okay. I mean, they can open up that file, but we have our bases covered. We're going to play bishop b7, slide our rook over to the d file. d5 is played, so my opponent here, um, kind of shifting the approach a little bit and uh, kind of locking this game up. In that case, I'm, I'm okay. I mean, look, if you want to lock the game up, I'm going to lock it up. Knight b5 is played now. Uh... Now the big question is, okay, do I queen d8, queen b8? I'm not really sure it matters a whole ton in a position like this. Um, probably play queen b8. It just seems a little bit more natural. Uh, you know, obviously d6 is defended now. a6 is coming one move later. There's no knight takes d6. Crazy ideas. Knight takes e5 is played, though. Um, in that case, I will just capture back with the knight. F4 is seen. We will... Man, knight takes e4 doesn't work because queen e3. Um, okay, I mean, knight g6, e5. Eh. So, okay, it seems as if my opponent is really um, onto something here, potentially, because I'm, I'm looking now, and e5 is very dangerous. Very dangerous, for sure. Um, hmm. I'm not two points of material. You know, I'm gonna play a six. Looks crazy, but I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get a piece back. Okay, so now white is up a pawn. That actually may have been the wrong way to go about that. The queen's gonna capture on f six, uh, or the or the rook. I mean, that, for that matter, uh, I'm just gonna hold on here with a move like rook e seven. D d six is currently covered. Um, check. Bada boom. Okay, we'll take back the queen now. We'll throw our queen into g4. Attacking the rook on d1. Um, obviously, this is just completely losing, but I'm just trying to hang on. Uh, play rook g8. Attacking the pawn on g2. Rook c6 check is played. We'll play a king there. We'll play there. So now this queen all of a sudden is a... Uh, you know, it's having to kind of run around a little bit. Queen b8, we got king e7 attacking the queen again. Um, queen there, we got 
That doesn't work. Uh, rook e7, does that work? Probably not. Maybe. Probably not, though. So we are threatening a main one still. Um, but, I mean, okay, how is white going to... G3, we have queen takes e4. Very quickly. Um, D6, we take the rook, maybe. Of course, pawn takes king up. It's not the prettiest. Rook d6 check. In that case, let's just slide that king over one square. Let's throw in a check. Uh, let's throw in a check again. Check. Queen there. Okay, so here, here, wow. I mean, white there going for some kind of end game. Obviously, we lose our rook. Um, but okay, I mean, now we're just trying to hang on for dear life. We play rookie five. Uh, we're attacking pawn on d5 now. Uh, boom. Boom. We will play c3 and act like we you know what we're doing. Um, okay, I mean, c4, king up. King up again. King, ooh, that's ugly. King there, king up. Man, that's crazy. Actually, very beautiful mate from white there. That's a really nice idea. And okay, I just lost my first game with the bond cloud. So here we go, y'all. The bond cloud continues. We're playing e4. Gosh, what are we doing here? King e2 coming up. Um, as always, you see a move like knight c6, you gotta lock this knight down with c3, right? Start to lock this minor piece down. d5, we'll play d3 now. We're actually okay if black wants to take on e4 on the trade-off queens. I mean, you know, if that's the best that black can do there, we're gonna be okay with that. Knight d2, we cannot capture on d5, by the way. If we do capture on d5, that's just gonna give black a more open game, more active pieces. We gotta keep this game as locked up as we possibly can. Um, by playing moves like c3. Knight e5 is played. Obviously here black is wanting to play something like queen d3 with check. The big question is, is, is that really that big of a threat, right? I mean, do I need to really be worried about that? Um, taking a quick look here. I haven't really seen this move a ton in my own games. I mean, h3. Yeah, I, I think I'm fine there. I mean, h3, if you want to check me, I'll just bring my king back. I'll be attacking your queen. So we see the move a6 from black. Obviously black taking their time here. And okay, let's play a move like potentially knight f3, of course, then black could capture back. Have to take back with the g pawn. It's not necessarily what we want. So let's play queen c2 first. Tuck that queen on c2. Big idea in the bond cloud. Queen c2, and then play this move knight f3. Whole idea being if the knight takes, we can then take back with the knight, and this pawn will still be defended. Knight g6 is played. Okay, let's play g3, limiting the activity of the knight yet again. I mean, I don't know, bishop, e, bishop e7, we got bishop g2. Queen c7, we can now play b3, right? Fianchetto the bishop. We, again, are going to try to wipe out that uh, that fourth rank as usual, bishop e2. And, uh, okay, I mean, let's slide a rook over to... Slide over to e1. That way e4 is going to be defended very soon once we do play a move like king f1. So now we got our centralized pawn defended. We can slide a rook over to d1 as well. And all of a sudden, this position is looking somewhat normal coming out of the bond cloud. We got queen to b6. And, uh, okay, I mean, let's play c4. Get this bishop active. Um, b4 is played from black. In that case, I'm looking at ideas like e5 potentially, um, which gives us an active bishop. Uh, is that the right way to go? I mean, e5, knight e7... Just play king g1. It's, when in doubt, guys, if you're playing the bond cloud, just get your king to, to a greater spot, a safer spot. We now got knight f1 ideas fighting for that long, that long, uh, that long open file. Knight h1, we got knight f1 now. We still got all of our bases covered. This bishop is also very active on b2. And obviously these knights at the moment, they're not really that threatening. They're not really doing a whole ton. Um, of course, if we do play g4, this knight's going to become more active. Okay, so we see a5. Uh, in that case, let's just start to trade down. Let's play knight e5, right? Knight e5, 
offer up a trade. If you want to trade down, I'm cool with that. We'll see what Black comes up with here, but I think we should be all right. Um, notice also, I mean, I, guys, in this video, the opponents have really been taking quite a bit of time trying to figure out what to do against the Bond Cloud. So it, it, it is harder to go up against than you may think. Uh, in that case, we're going to play Knight e7, attacking the Queen, picking off the Rook. This Queen's going to have to run, or obviously Black could take on d7, but okay, now we're at the exchange. Queen c6 is played. Uh, obviously we take the knight captures back, so let's just bring that rook back to d1. If we do play knight e3, e5 ideas will be available, but we can't do it quite yet because obviously this bishop on g2 would have been, you know, just capture right off. But now we see queen b6, so so black here, you know, kind of taking their time here. Um, okay, so now we got to start to put the pedal to the metal. King h2, bishop f3, we'll pre-move there. Knight goes back to f6. Uh, in that case, um, let's just play a move like knight g4. We can capture back with the pawn. Uh, okay, there. Bring the queen back. Knight h4. Okay, I'm not really that worried about that. I mean, if you want to trade down, that's cool. Uh, f5. Boom. Boom. I'll trade there. As always, I'll pre-move, even though you never do want to take on b3. Uh, bishop g5, I'll decide to capture on a4. I'm now up three points of material, but got to be careful. Queen up, rook d6. Rook there. Um, okay, I'll just play rook d5. I'm, I'm giving up the exchange, but I'm still up in material, and it's just a much easier position to work with. d6, check ideas now in the air. We'll play e5. So, I mean, guys, talk about a monster pair here, monster pawn pair. Checking the king, e6. Obviously, I'm not really seeing a way for black to stop these pawns very easily. Um, the rook of fate, we'll capture back. No checks that I'm seeing that are very dangerous. Um, there is that, in which case we'll just bring the king back to g1. We'll play checkmate, and we're on to the next one. Let's keep it rolling, y'all. You know what we do. If you haven't already, uh, click that like and click that subscribe if you want to see more chess content. Um, you know, on this channel, I try to do a bunch of different things. Lately, I've been kind of messing around with playing some chess. Um, you know, up to this point, my my channel's really been about, you know, teaching opening theory, but I'm starting to want to kind of branch out into other ideas. So, you know, really any kind of chess related content that you want to see, let me know, let me know down in the comment section below what you'd like to see, and I'll uh, and I'll work on it. Um, you know, I still got a long way to grow as a creator. I still want to keep improving. So let me know as well how you guys think I can improve my videos. Um, as always, we got the C3, D3, E4 setup. We're now going to continue with Knight F3. Um, Black here, not playing too aggressively. We do see Knight H5, but okay, we're just going to play what we're going to do anyways with G3. Um, this is actually one of the most calm bond clouds I've ever seen in my life with E4 and King E2. Black here wasting some time. I mean, Black here is making things a little bit too easy for me. Knight d7 now. Why are you bringing this knight back? You should be bringing your other knight into the game. Um, okay, anyways, interesting. We'll play queen c2, defend d3. Knight e5. I mean, this knight has moved probably four or five times now. One, two, three, four, five, five times. So we're going to take back. Uh, you know, in a position like this, you know, I can't help myself. I'm going to start playing aggressive. We'll play f4. We'll play knight f3. Bishop e3 on the way. Somehow I'm actually up in development. So we're going to attack the queen. Um, c5 is seen. Uh, in that case, okay. I'll take a little chill pill. I'll play king f2. Try to get this king over to safety. Um, I'll just keep on going. g1, h2. Knight f6. Man, my opponent really likes moving their knights. In that case, I'm going to play e5, kicking that knight around. Uh, knight d5 is seen, in which case bishop d2 can be played. So obviously my bishop on g2 right now is uh, is active. So I'm going to take back with the knight. Eyeing that, eyeing that minor piece on d5. Bishop b7 is the move that is played. And now I'll play c4. 
So my king's safe now. My king is very safe on h2. So I'm really just going to try to put some pressure on black here, see if I can create any kind of tactical opportunities. Take back with the pawn. Um, knight b4. In that case, uh, I can't just capture back the knight. And that doesn't work because I can take back with the queen. The whole idea being that we're now... I'm now up three points of material, but you cannot take my bishop unless you want to lose your rook. So now I'm just up a piece. I'll play bishop c3, defending that knight. See what my opponent wants to come up with. e6 is played. Uh, let's just play b3. Rook over. We'll play rook d1. Offer an upper trade. Actually, if they do take, I'll just take the rook, though, so I'm not going to pre-move that. Rook d1. Uh, okay, rook c8 is played. Good move there from black. Uh, queen e2. Just try to keep my bases covered as much as I possibly can. Um, I want to play a move like a4, but obviously that would make this pawn on b3 a little bit weak. So let's just continue to play normal looking chess. Take on d8. I'm up I'm up material. No reason to play nothing crazy. Just start. Just keep trading down, trading down, trading down. Rook d1. Here black's going to have to trade or defend it, which they just did. Um, with queen c7, I will now play there. Nice c6 is an idea, which looks fun, so I'm going to do it. Nice c6, also eyeing that bishop on g7. Now we'll take the bishop, and I have check now. So, I mean, this is just winning now. I'm up a full piece. I'm going to start picking off these pawns like they're candy. Knight d7. Uh, okay, there. There. Knight b7. Um, take that guy off the board. I gotta keep within the, the 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 square of the pawn, right? So I'll bring my king in front. Now this pawn's off to the races. I don't really care about my knight anymore. You can have it. I just want a queen. Uh, queen c4 can be played, and boom, here we go. Make another queen. Boom. Thanks for watching, and thank you especially to all of you engaging on Patreon. Your donations are helping the Chess Nine team create more and better chess content. If you want to learn more about the extras that you can unlock by subscribing at one of our Patreon tiers, hit up the link in the description. If you'd like to see my entire openings playlist, click that place to the left. If you'd like to see me just hanging out and playing some chess, click that place to the right. Leave a comment down below to let me know what other videos you'd like to see covered on this channel. And as always, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.